Today I'm just going to be spending the majority of the day in the kitchen. We ended up going to the Amish bulk store. So I picked up these like bricks of lard and I got one last time we were there and we've already about used it. So I picked up two this time. They don't always have it whenever you go. So when you do, like you kind of need to pick it up if you use it. So I picked up two of these and from the research I've done and how often we use it, you don't necessarily have to can lard. It's just like pretty shelf stable on its own. So I'm just going to melt these down and put them in jars, but let them self seal just from the heat. That way we can have it because we do have it just a little bit. Last time I bought like a two pound block, I think it was, and we've used quite a bit of it so far. So these are seven and three quarter pound and six and three quarter pound. And it's just so cheap compared to buying lard at the store. And you know, like where this is coming from. So we really like that. And then I need to work up these carrots. I bought those on clearance. I just could not pass them up. I'm going to work on canning those. They're not organic or anything, but they were just on a deal. This 50 pound bag of potatoes that we got from the Amish bulk store also, and it was $9. Like, I just cannot pass up that for $9. Usually whenever we buy potatoes, it's pretty standard that you pay a dollar per pound. So I just couldn't pass this up and I'm gonna work on canning these, but it'll probably be later this week. Just because I have some other things I need to make in the kitchen, I really need to make a loaf of bread and tea also, but we'll just see what I have time for. As I work on stuff in the kitchen, I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me today. In this pot I have water that needs to boil and this is water from the Berkey. So this is water that is going to be poured over the carrots and I do not use our tap water whenever canning or anything like that just because we have such hard water here. So we use Berkey water in this. And then back here I have lids that are sterilizing. So I ended up switching the pressure canner that I'm going to use. Um, that one over there in the sink, it's like steaming still. It's so hot. So it has like a dial gauge. This is the lid to it. So if I can get it turned around here. So it looks like this and you have to almost like babysit it and make sure that it stays at 10 pounds. But I forgot that I think my mom or my papa got me this canner. This one has the different weights that you just take off of it and it's 5, 10, and 15 pounds. That way you can you can just set it to the 10 pounds is what I need for the carrot. So I'll just set it to that and it'll work off by itself. So it doesn't ever go above 10 pounds. If it goes above, it'll just release that pressure off. Switch to this one and I'm going to try it out. But this is my first time using this kind of canner. Always previously I've used the dial gauge and I like it but you do have to stay with it constantly and just make sure that the heat doesn't go above 10 pounds or go below 10 pounds you kind of have to watch it so i'm hoping this one will allow me to work on other things while i'm canning also i'll still be in the kitchen but i just don't want to have to stare at the gauge always Thank you. 
So I just now got my carrots in here and I'm waiting on it to start steaming so I can put the weight on. But I'm going to have to do it in two batches just because three of them didn't fit, which is completely fine. But while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and start melting down some of this lard. As it melts down, I'll add in the rest of this because I do have that huge block over there still. And then I'm going to start sterilizing some more jars in the oven for the lard and then also some lids so that I can go ahead and get that canned up. We are making some progress, but I'd say I'm not going to be able to make the bread. Possibly I can make the tea, but I'm not really sure. Probably won't get to make the bread today just because it's already getting pretty late and Ben will be home in like an hour, which I got a really late start on this. So maybe tomorrow I could work on the bread. So I just pulled these out of the canner and you can see our water is so hard. So I'll scrub all these down once they get completely cooled and sit for a while. But they are all sealing and I just can't believe our water is this hard here. Like it is such strong buildup. That's why I don't use it in the jars. If you do have hard water in your area where you live, you can put a few tablespoons of vinegar inside of the canner each time and this will help prevent buildup on your jars and stuff, but I always forget to do that. I got all the lard in jars. There's 17 pints that it ended up making and it'll eventually turn white once it completely cools. They should self-seal on their own, but if you're going to be doing lard, definitely do your own research and what you feel is safe. So yesterday I ended up not finishing vlogging, but I ended up getting the lard put in the jars, the carrots canned, and then I ended up canning some butter. But I'm going to start with the bread and get those mixed up. That way I can go ahead and clean all of these jars and get all those like hard water marks off. Some of them are really bad and some aren't so bad, but I'm gonna label and clean those while I'm waiting on the dough to rise. On this day, I was trying to figure out a bread recipe and after a couple tries, I finally got it figured out and it is actually over on my blog. So you can find that link down in the description below. of sweet tea in this house so what I'm making right here is actually a sweet tea concentrate and I was just melting together the sugar and water. So I just got these labeled and as you can see on like the butter I wrote butter and then the date also and um, on the carrots it's pretty obvious that it's carrots like there's no confusion there so I just wrote the date on those. But then the lard, I do label that as lard with the date also, just because the butter and lard pretty much look similar. It's a little bit of a color difference. After the tea bags had steeped for a couple hours, I came back into the kitchen and started putting it into mason jars. And we just keep it in a half gallon mason jar. And then we actually have a half gallon pitcher that we use to mix up a small amount of the concentrate with the rest. With the <laughs> 